Hey guys, I'm here with Bobby and Crystal and we are gonna smoke a catfish. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, we're gonna do some Cajun uh, seared nuggets in the cast iron. You get a homeless guy to come in and start the fire. That way you can't tell the difference <laughs> and what's going on. You know how to make that fire. Smoking with the fish and they recommend a lot of the sweeter woods. Uh, well, thank you. Um, you know, sweeter stuff like that. That'll help add to the flavor. Um, and then there's also a lot of recommendations about brining it, whether you choose to do it uh, buttermilk or salt water. Do like a salt water brine. It helps maintain moisture. Because this is what, the, uh, what kind of brine did you do? We do. We have buttermilk on this one. Oh, nice. So we're gonna do buttermilk, and then I think we're gonna do lemon pepper as far as seasoning, and then a few other small things, maybe some cajun style. We're gonna hit probably 135, 140. So we don't have to run the smoker too hot. We'll probably run the smoker around 150, 160. It's a bit on the colder side compared to when we're doing a brisket or a pulled pork or anything like that. Um, you know, we'd normally run the smoker around 250 for that, 225 to 250. Uh, but this should be good, probably around 150, 155. Cool Ranch, we're using Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. <laughs> Dorito wood chips. We have 100% natural apple wood chips. So it's been brining in buttermilk for about 48 hours. We'll pull that swampy flavor out. This is glass cleaner. Okay, so what we'll do <laughs> glass cleaner is key. So it's actually brake cleaner. Oh, wow. <laughs> That'll really clean you out. Okay. You heard of Metamucil? Uh, <laughs> Try brake <blurry> cleaner. <laughs> what about Methamucil? Methamucil. All right. So catfish has a really slimy skin. Uh, when you do butcher it and fillet it, you actually want to take your knife beforehand Ooh, smoky eyes uh, And kind of scrape all the slime off of it. It's not as easy as you would think. You can't really rinse it off So before the brining? Yes Got it. Before you even fillet it, you just want to take oh, gotcha. Take somewhat of a dull knife um, And get the slimy layer off of there. It's just a protective coat that they use for me. So there's a couple of like the nugget portions and then your side fillets there uh, I got some basic Cajun seasonings here, uh, mixed with some brown sugar. We'll just do a pretty heavy dusting on there and sear it up. Why do you cook it skin side down? I like to get the skin really crispy and you kind of loosen up all that fat and it'll transition to the meat. Brian, you can tell. I mean, tell the difference. So well, it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. It also didn't get all, you know, catfish tends to get real like dense and flaky as mm. it, when you fry it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this didn't do that. This is kind of like buttery throughout. Yeah, and, like held it together really well. Yeah. Wow. I was, yeah, because I thought it was just going to like fall apart, but it's like more like a steak. Had, oh yeah. had we finished it on the smoker? It's got the consistency of a steak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want had, we, had we finished it on the That's smoker, like, it would have been good. flaky like that. Mm. Good job. Yeah. Wow. That's good. That's so good. You guys are magic. Yay. It was so funny because we were having kind of a little bit of a rough weekend that weekend. I had to come build. And then we also lost the air pads, so it was like even a rougher weekend. But when they caught, I knew Devin wanted to bring catfish over here. And so when his friend found us out of the blue, which we had no idea he would, it's and like us. caught this fish, build? I just was like, you know what? Like, you, you get what you need. Like, you don't always get what you want, right. but you get what yeah. you need. And I felt like we needed this catfish <laughs> to come over here. Yes. And so, anyway, that's good. 